Hey there dev squad, today we're going to be showing you how you can build voxel landscapes in Unreal Engine. Hey there, my name is Luke and in today's episode we're going to be going over an introduction to how you can use voxel landscapes inside of Unreal Engine. You are going to be able to use voxel landscapes to create things that you otherwise wouldn't, such as cliffs, caves, overhangs and more. Voxel landscapes are a whole bunch of fun. You can even make environments that look like Minecraft. This video is sponsored by the Voxel plugin in Unreal Engine 4 and throughout this video we're going to be breaking down all of the different tools that you are going to have available to you to create procedurally generated terrains and then also how you can sculpt them. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the video. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to need to do is download the plugin that is going to allow us to create our voxel landscapes. To do this, head over to your Unreal Engine 4 marketplace and search for the voxel plugin free. And then we're going to be installing this to the engine and choosing the engine version that we're using. For me, this is Unreal Engine 4.25. One thing I'd also like to note, there is also the Voxel Plugin Pro, which has a whole bunch of other functionality, but Voxel Plugin Free has a whole bunch of cool stuff that we can use for creating our landscapes. Okay, so now that we're inside of the engine and we have loaded up our project, what we need to do is enable the plugin so we can get started with the creation process. So go over to your edit and then plugins, and then from there, all you want to do is make sure that you check your voxel plugin and then press restart. Once this is restarted, we are going to have access to all of the voxel tools that come with this plugin. So we're gonna give it a couple of seconds to load up, and then we are going to close this interface, we're going to remove this little pop-up, and then we are going to create a brand new level. We're just gonna be using the default level for now, we're going to remove this cube and then we are going to create our very first voxel world. So go to our modes, voxels, and then from here we can add our voxel world. So press the button, give it a couple of seconds to generate, and what we're going to do to start with is just take a look at one quick setting within our voxel world that we may want to change before we start sculpting. So if we go to our world outliner, we search for our voxel world, one of the settings that we can change is our render type. We have got our cubic render type, which is going to give us a look that is very similar to Minecraft, where our world is built up of cubes, or we've also got our default smooth editing mode, which is using marching cubes. So you're gonna to get to see this in just a second. So if I select my surface tool, and then just run left click to sculpt there, if I change from marching, to cubic, you are going to see our world is now built up of these cubic voxels instead. And for the purpose of this video, I'm actually going to be leaving this editing mode turned on for our rendering with the cubic, because I think it's a really cool look. So now that we know how to change that, what we're going to be looking at is going through all of the different tools that we've got available to us. Those being our surface, smooth, sphere, flatten, and the level tool. So let's go ahead and kick things off with our surface tool. This is essentially going to allow you to sculpt the surface of our voxel landscape. So with this selected, I can directly edit this. But before I do that, I wanna introduce you to the brush size and the brush strength so that we can control just how this is going to affect the landscape. So our brush size is over here. It's currently set to 1000 for me. I can turn this up to make my brush bigger or I can turn this down to make it smaller. And these brush settings can also be found over on the left hand side in our voxel editing mode. What I can also do inside of here is change the sculpt strength which is going to change how strong of an effect this sculpt is going to have. And then we've also got our fall off, which is gonna change how smooth this brush is going to be. So the less fall off we have, the harsher it's gonna be, and the more fall off we have, the smoother it's gonna be. For now, we're going to be setting this to 0.5. So now that we know how to change our brush, let's go ahead and start sculpting. So if we zoom out a little bit, and then we just hold down our left click and drag, you can see that we're then able to start sculpting onto our voxel landscape, which is really cool. 
and if we hold down that left click it is going to be additive so it is going to add to our landscape if I hold down shift and left click it is going to be subtractive and it is going to allow us to subtract into our landscape here now while we're at this early pointer on the video what I want to show you is probably the biggest function of voxel landscapes that being that we can dig into the ground we can make tunnels caves and all of that good stuff we're not limited to just the constraints of a plane like you are with the unreal engine 4's default landscape editor so if i go ahead and dig into my hole here i hold down shift and then i can keep pushing back and i can dig a tunnel that goes right underneath our landscape and we have got geometry all around us which is really cool so hopefully that should give you a good understanding of how voxels can be used to create landscapes in a very different way and don't forget if you don't want this cubic look you can always go ahead and change your render type back to our marching cubes just like this so with that done what we can then do is move on to our smoothing tool with our smoothing tool it is going to do pretty much just that if you hold down left click it is going to smooth any area that you run the brush over. So this cave entrance, as you can see there, I have just smoothed that out just like that. And again, you can change the strength and the fall off to change just how well it does that. So have a little play around with the surface and the smooth tool to get yourself a nice looking landscape. The next tool that I'm going to take you through is our sphere tool and this is going to be very much like the main surface tool however the brush is going to be a sphere instead of being flat. So if we go ahead and hold down left click I can then paint on with this and as you can see there it is going to allow me to paint a sphere onto our landscape. With this we can also hold down shift and left click and that is going to allow us to sculpt in there as well. So if I wanted to, I can then just go in and dig a nice little hole just like that in our landscape. But generally, you're not going to be using this sphere brush too often, but it does have its uses. The next tool we've got available to us is our flatten tool, which is going to progressively flatten an area. So if we go ahead and take this area, I'm going to turn my brush size up, and then I'm just going to hover over this, and I am just going to click and drag and as you're starting to see there it is starting to flatten the area that I'm holding my brush over so this is going to have some very important uses and if you like if you go ahead and turn your strength up you can see that this is going to do that much quicker and it is just going to flatten out our landscape the next tool is very similar this is the level tool and it is going to allow you to quickly block out flat surfaces. Now this is going to use a cylindrical brush. So if I go ahead and turn my brush size down, you can see that this is a cylinder and it is going to level our landscape to the top of this cylinder, also using this shape as a guideline. So if I go ahead and hold down left click, it is going to do just that. If I go ahead and hold down shift and left click, it is going to do the opposite. So it is going to level it beneath that brush. So if we look closely at the brush, if we just move our mouse normally, it is going to be facing upwards. If we hold down shift, it is going to be facing downwards. Now with this, I don't advise that you use the downwards brush as you can get some very unexpected results from this. So just try and use the surface tool to try and get whatever it is that you're trying to get from here. The last tool that I want to talk about here is our trim tool, which is very similar to the flatten tool. For this one, to learn about the difference, the best thing that I can advise is to just dive in there and use that tool instead of the flatten tool. If you read the description, you can see it is going to quickly trim or flatten an area. Have a little play around with it, learn about all of the different tools that I've just shown you, that being the surface, smooth, sphere, flatten and level and trim. So hopefully this should give you a good understanding of how we can use the various tools inside of our voxel editor. Now one other feature of this voxel plugin that I want to show you is our world generator. And what we can do is actually generate worlds using data. So we can make pre-made things like cliffs, and caves and planets and so on so let's go ahead and show you how you can do that 
if we go over to file, new level, create a default level, we're then going to add a new voxel world. And then from here, what I can do if I select that voxel world, I can go over to my world generator and I can choose one of these defaults. So for example, if I wanted to choose a planet, I can choose a planet. And what it's gonna do if I zoom out far enough, it is actually going to show us our voxel planet, which is made entirely of voxels. So if we double click on our voxel world to get a little bit closer to this, I'm gonna turn my camera speed up so I move much, much quicker. And then I'm also gonna turn it up over here and we get in and you can see it has automatically generated a planet for us. And this is procedural, so it is gonna automatically generate different elements of this and it is all going to be very much randomized and if I was to go in I can also change to other presets such as our cliffs so if I select our cliffs we get into here you are going to see it it's going to give us a whole bunch of procedurally generated cliffs and we can do the same thing for the caves and the cool thing about this caves generator is if we go under our landscape, we are going to have cavities under here which are essentially forming caves. So now that we know how we can use the different generators, let's move on to the real-time capabilities of this plugin. That being that if you wanted to, you can also use the blueprint setup inside of this plugin that comes with it to allow the player to edit your landscapes live. So to test this, what I'm going to do is come out of my voxel mode. I'm going to select my landscape and just for making viewing this easier, I'm going to set my voxel rendering type to cube. And then with this, we are going to go over to our world settings. If you don't have your world settings, just go to window and then world settings. And then over on our game mode override, we are going to set this to our third person game mode or your first person or whichever template you're using. And then we are simply going to set our player controller to voxel complex controller. If we go ahead and press play, you are going to see it is going to bring us into our world. But most importantly, we've got this interface on the top left, which is going to give us access to our tools, just like we had in the voxel editor. So we've got our surface, our sphere, our box, our smooth, flatten and trim. If I go ahead and hover over with my brush onto this little area here, you can see that I can start to sculpt this. If it's not too obvious, go ahead and turn your strength up. And as you can see there, you can begin painting on those voxels. Now with that tool, what you can also do is paint on our colors so we can take our color and then we can just paint it onto our areas just like that. So there is a whole bunch of extra functionality for the voxel plugin that is going to allow you to not only sculpt our landscapes using voxels, but most importantly, you are also going to be able to allow the players to interact with this in real time. That's it for this video, hopefully this gives you a good understanding of how you can use the Voxel plugin to create your Voxel landscapes. If you want to see more Voxel content on creating landscapes inside of Unreal Engine, be sure to let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to check out our Patreon, but as always guys, stay awesome, keep creating. Virtus, signing out.